Wir wollen uns natürlich heute Abend auch unserer gesellschaftlichen und politischen Verantwortung stellen hier beim Teddy, denn es gibt immer noch Menschen, die leben auf dieser Welt in Angst aufgrund ihrer Sexualität. Deswegen kommen wir jetzt zu einem Preis, dessen Existenz und eigentlich auch der tragische Hintergrund unverzichtbar für ihn sind. Den David Cato Vision and Voice Award. Und dazu bitte ich jetzt den Chairman des David Cato Voice Awards auf die Bühne, Dr. Frank Mugisha. Nice to see you again. This is yours. Frank, I would like to know how did the situation develop after the murder of uh, David Cato? Uh, thank you so much, and I'm happy to be here again. Thank you so much to Teddy Awards. Uh, after the death of David, of course, the situation has continued to be very worse. Uh, we've had uh, our parliament try to pass a law in mm -hmm. Uganda, but of course, thanks to the international community and my colleagues in Uganda, who were able to fight that law in our court, and it was nullified after it had, signed, it had been signed into law. So right now, uh, our members of parliament are thinking of bringing up again another law. Okay, so for this award that you're giving out in just a few seconds, uh, who is eligible to achieve it, to get it? Uh, this award is in memory of my colleague David Cato, who was killed, and uh, we, we sat together with our friends and colleagues who felt the need to continue David's life and legacy, so any person around the world is allowed to receive this award. Any person can apply for it. Any person can be nominated to receive this award, as long as they walk in the footsteps of David, as long as their work is about empowering, as long as the, their work is about equality for gay, lesbians, bisexual, and transgender people in this world. All right, then let's introduce us to this year's winner. So the winner of the David Cato Vision and Vice Award for 2015 is Martha Talona, Talona, a mother of two girls, grandmother of one, proud feminist, a person openly living with HIV AIDS. Uh, she's uh, the chairperson of the Gay and Lesbian uh, of Zimbabwe. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome Martha Tolana from Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Thank you for the honor tonight. I'm overwhelmed. I'm humbled. It's something that I never expected. Um, I've never been the center of attention. <laughs> so it's a bit, yeah, it's, as I said, I'm overwhelmed and humbled and extremely grateful for the recognition. Um, thank you to all those who have committed and continue to commit to ensure the legacy of David Cato remains alive. And as I go back home tomorrow, um, I just want you to know that um, everyone in Zimbabwe really appreciates. I've been getting many, many messages uh, from, from Zimbabweans and from other quarters that I never expected within Zimbabwe around the support and also being thankful to the community that is part of this festival in terms of making this possible and making the recognition come to Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. Here's your prize. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you. Martha Tolana, and thank you, Dr. Frank Nibishi. Thank you.